for this welterweight fight. Pendrick, 27, three years younger than Augusto Montana. Cajo Pendred will have a two-inch reach advantage. Once again, the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record. 16 wins, three losses, one draw. He stands six feet, one inch tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, Cajo Pendred. Red. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a mixed martial artist, only professional record, 15 wins, one loss, he stands 6 feet 1 inch tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Mexico City, Distrito Federal, Mexico, Augusto Dodger Montano! Where the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. The veteran Herb Dean, our referee. The beautiful Jamlin and Ariani here tonight for UFC 188. Dodger, Pendrick. Ready to fight. Ready. And Ready. we are underway. Red trunks for Mexico's Augusto Montano. Black trunks for Dublin, Ireland's Cajol Pendrick. Pendrick, very big as Joe mentioned for this weight class. As is Dodger, but Pendrick seems a little bit thicker. Yeah, definitely. But, uh, you know, as we've learned in the past, that's not necessarily an advantage depending on how hard it is for the weight cut. Dodger's a very crafty guy. Moves very well, very light on his feet. Good angles. Look for a potential shot. And just been trying to put that in the mind of his opponent. Maybe he will attack first. Age 15 was when Dodger started training Kung Fu. Pendred caught him moving to his right there and landed that kick. Now Pendred looking for the takedown. Good defense so far by Montano. Pendred 16 career wins. Montano 15 career wins. They break. Pendred was looking to put him on his back, couldn't do so. So far, no real advantage established so far, other than aggression. Pendred being more aggressive fighter so far. Really extending himself, trying to land kicks and punches. And there's a good leg kick by Pendred. Pendred, as you mentioned, Joe, may be fueled by the fact that he's going against one of Mexico's favorites. With that right hand cocked and ready to go. Yeah, a lot of guys like to wear that black hat. Yes, indeed. So far, not a lot of offense on the feet. Seems to be measuring Pendrick's attacks. There he goes. Right when we said that, that's what we're used to seeing from him. A lot of explosion, a lot of quick movement. And Joe, when you look at the fact he's finished 13 fights in the first round, he has 15 wins, he does come out aggressively. Yeah, well, you know, I think he's wary of the physical size of Pendrick yep. and the strength. Being careful, moving around. Pendrick looked at him sort of disdainfully after he that side kick to the body. Montana up the middle. Missed it though. Look for a right hand, missed that as well. But this is the type of Montana fight that we're used to seeing. A lot of movement. Real sneaky in his attacks. Big swing and a miss there. Very labored with that left hook. That's a good that right kick. Again. Some redness on the thigh area of Montano. Spins to the body. I've never seen that in my life. Oh, there's a front kick that landed. We've seen that a few times. Just over 90 seconds on the clock here in the first. 
change of stance here by Pendrick. Pendrick definitely the aggressor. He, he certainly is, Mike. He's really extending himself, trying to catch Dodger, but Dodger hasn't been able to really counter him and stop him from doing that. But the shots that Dodger has landed has been when he's aggressive, not when he's countering. And Dodger has constantly been moving to his right, away from the power hand and power leg. He fell there, yep. slipped. Right back up. These are big movements by Pendrin, and he's getting frustrated now. And rightfully so. I mean, he's the one who's causing all these exchanges to happen. Look at this, man. I mean, look, Mexico has a proud history of warriors and guys who just go after it. For centuries. Tried with a little bit of a flying knee there. But Pension has double underhooks here. Let's see if he can drag this fight to the ground. What I was going to say is, for a guy like Montano, that is not a great way to endear yourself to this crowd. And we mentioned how many times he has come out firing. A lot of booze. A lot of left. Back him up, move to left. They want to cut him off. This is a warning. You need to engage. I can't take points for timidity. Wow. I can take okay. points for timidity. I, I haven't seen that before. I've seen the warnings me. before, but we haven't seen that in a while, Joe. But not like that. Yeah. I, I'm not sure I think that that was warranted. Well, we'll see. Very interesting. Herb D not happening. So let's good see if the deep Dodger comes out really swinging, Joe. Pendrick with two good leg kicks in a row. Look for it, but Matt Pendrick. Oh, right with the right. He tagged him in that. We got Pendrick moving in. But Pendrick has a single here. Unable to connect. That was the best punch thrown by Montana. So far, Pendrick here with double underhooks right in front of us. Wrapping his leg around. Pendridge certainly has dictated the pace of this fight thus far. It's very dangerous, though, as we saw, to run in, predictably charge forward, to try to engage. But, you know, Pendridge's really frustrated. They keep your fingers out of the fence. Good call by Herb Dean. Looking for some dirty boxing. And this also could be uh, a factor of what we were saying before the fight. A lot of pressure on Dodger. Fighting here in Mexico City, so many people are here to support him. Massive, massive ovation at the weigh-ins. And just because he was successful the first time we were here, doesn't mean it's the same feeling this time, Joe. In fact, probably more because people want to see that type of performance again tonight. Cajal's got him down the ground right in front of us here. Well, he's also fighting a bigger, stronger guy here yeah, in Pendrick. Sure. Has not been defeated since November of 2011. In fact, that's the only setback for Dodger. Pendrick trying to advance. connect his hands together here. Trying to connect his hands together while he's got Dodger's neck. And he, as he said in his bio, he's a fan of any kind of choke. Yes. Sliding that hand up higher on the forearm, Dodger back up to his feet. But his head is trapped, now he's free. Good knee to the body by Dodger, but Pendrick drops right back down again. Trying to put him on his back here. One takedown officially thus far for Pendrick. Make it two. Yep. Now let's see what he can do from here. Well, at the very least, he's fighting his type of fight now. He's making Dodger exhausted, he's wearing on him, dragging nice. him to the ground again for the third time. A bit of a trip there, right back up, though. And Dodger is having a 
real hard time dealing with the physical size and strength of Pendry. Great work, Cole! Pendry's corner, you can hear very happy, so great work. And he's on top here. A couple short shots to the body. It seems to me that when they're locking up, that Pendra is just the far stronger fighter. And Dodger's got to be careful. Every time he's trying to get up, he's trying to get up, he's exposing that neck. Pendra's got a good hold of it here. Dodger's neck is trapped under the belly of Pendra. This is a bad position for him. He's in a tough jam here, Mike. He easily could get submitted here. Oh, he pops his head out. One minute. Educated audience, they all cheered when that happened. But again, Pendrick right back on top of him. All Pendrick this round. Couple short shots here. Spins to the back. Another good round for Pendrick. You hear his corner yell, take the back, take the back. He's got to be careful here that he doesn't yeah. dodge it right back up. But Pendrick stays glued to him right here in front of us. Pendrick 7 0 and 1 leading up to his time on the Ultimate Fighter season 19. There was a good knee there by Montano, but Pendrick just. Final seconds of round two. At the very least, certainly Pendred's round. Big dude, he's very strong. He was all over Montano. And he did what he wanted to in that fight. He turned into a brawl. He engaged him, he dragged him to the ground. And now Montano's got to do something here. Because the first round is basically anybody's guess. But the second round was definitely Pendred. And well, Dodger knows that, Joe. He knows that, but he also knows that Pendrick is stronger than him. And he knows that if Pendrick gets a hold of him like that, it's likely he's going to be able to do that again. That leaves, leaves him in a very bad position coming into this third round. Pendrick dragged him to the ground several times during that round, and now he's got a hold of him again. Dodger lands a right hand in that exchange. Though. Tried to hit the knee before that. We do have to remind that Dodger did land that one good right hand while Pendrick was closing the distance, but he didn't have Pendrick in trouble. Third and final round. Here's a decent inside leg kick by Dodger. But not the Dodger that we are accustomed to seeing with 11 career knockouts. Here's a good knee to the body. But look again, Pendred's got right back where he put him before. Right up against the cage. Of course, Pendred Joe trains at SBG in Dublin. Conor McGregor, Patty Houlihan, Ashley Daly, Gunnar Nelson. The notorious one watching his teammate very closely on show. Again, Ireland, like Mexico, a long, proud tradition of boxing greatness. Shout out to Wayne McCullough, who I'm sure is probably watching this. Walk forward. Walk forward. Forward. He came with that knee on the exit. But Pendred presses forward once again and has Montano up against the cage. Good elbow by Montano. Montano. Desperately fighting to keep the takedown from happening in this round. The second round taught him a big lesson. I mean, it's essentially anybody's fight here in the third. Pandred working very diligently. You know, it's interesting, Mike. It's going to be interesting, interesting, interesting to see how the judges score that first round. Because that very well might be the key to this fight, depending upon what happens in the next two minutes and 25 seconds. It really could be anybody's fight right now. Or Pendrick could be ahead two to nothing simply based on the aggression that he showed in the first round. Hard to think that after the hood being warning, Montana won round one. Yes. We have seen crazier things. We have seen crazier things, but the problem is Pendrick was aggressive, yeah. but not a lot happened. Yeah. 
under two now. But I would give it to him. I would give it to him based on just the aggression. He was trying to make it happen, and the best shots of that first round were the low kicks that he landed. But Montano has avoided the takedown so far in this third and final round. There's that look of frustration yes. again on the face of Paul Pendrick. There's a good leg kick from Pendrick. Roger, mouth open, breathing very heavy. Well, this has been a very physical fight. We, we talked about this many times before, but those exchanges against the cage, although they don't look like a lot's happening, there's a lot of energy being exerted. So that kick a moment ago, he had basically no snap on it. Yeah, Montano sapped, and, and Pendrick is very tired as well, I'm sure. He's taking some big deep breaths. That kind of fighting, that trying to take the guy down, the other guy avoiding it, is absolutely exhausting. But to the people watching at home, nothing's happening. Dodger with the sidekick to the face, but nothing on it. One of Mexicans most popular. You know, it, it's really interesting, Mike, and it highlights one of the problems that I have with the scoring system. Because Pendred, although was more dominant in the second round, the, the, that could easily have been a 10-9 round, just as the first round could have been a 10-9 round. Although the second round was certainly clearer in terms of a victory for Pendred. Fifteen seconds remain. Hendrick looking to become the second man to defeat Dodger. They go the distance. Huge moves. Hendrick then damage. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 29, 28 for the winner by unanimous decision, Cajal Pendrez. That's a good decision. It is a good